Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my room. At long last, the wait is over. You did good, champ. Sorry I was away for so long. Two months I spent away from the news cycle, which is like an eternity in internet time. And so many things happened when I was gone that I don't even know where to come back to start. I don't, I, I don't even know how to make a sentence anymore. So I'm just going to ramble about my vacation to buy time while I research various topics. I think Jason Aldean is gay and Barack Obama wrote a racist country song. And then there's fires in Maui. And it, sorry, my bad. Barack Obama is the gay one. And Jason Aldean wrote a country song that had all the white knights foaming at the mouth. You would think that Jason Aldean was murdering black people by the thousands. But anyways, hurricanes in LA that felt like the wrath of God, I tell you what. Donald Trump got indicted four times, turned himself in in Georgia. They took a mugshot of him so they could use it as a political prop. And he freaking put his mugshot on a t-shirt and sold it as merch. <laughs> this dude's a freaking genius. He skipped the debate because he's ahead by 50 in the polls. So he understands that a debate wouldn't help him at this point. It could only hurt him, but he still has disdain for the whole system. So what does he do? He does a one-on-one -on -one interview with Tucker Carlson and dropped that shit on the same day as the debates and stole all the viewership for it, racking up 200 million views in like two days. And him doing the interview instead of the debate allows the American people to hear what he has to say without being interrupted or attacked, which is smart as hell. But anyways, so much shit happened and my wife was like, you should make a video about this thing. And I'm like, Hyrule is on fire right now and I have taken on the responsibility responsibility of defeating Ganondorf and saving the kingdom. The internet people will understand. Oh, hell yeah. So we went to Hyrule on vacation and we took a lot of pictures, obviously. So they dropped us off at a place called Lookout Landing. So we went ahead and took a photo right outside of the gate. And we got a nice shot of Hyrule Castle floating in the background. Here's us at Goron City talking to the chief because apparently the citizens of the city were being fed addictive rocks by the corporations, which prevented anyone from being productive and made them all mindless zombies who couldn't stop consuming this addictive rock. Sound familiar? Here's a picture of us skydiving thousands of feet into the air. We free falled quite a bit. It was scary, but we landed on the head of a fucking dragon and rode that dragon off into the sunset. It was cute. Anyways, I'm back now, just in time for them to tell us that we need to start masking up again because COVID's back just in time for the election so they can lock everybody down again. I can't believe they got caught lying about that shit and then they're gonna push it again just in time to make another push for mail-in voting. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about the election election shit unless you guys want me to follow that but I'm just saying that a majority of people are saying that they would have never voted for Biden had they known about the Hunter Biden laptop story but these tech companies suppress that story as we all know from Elon in the Twitter files so that's the real election interference which means that in a way yeah, the election was stolen from Donald Trump by means of controlling information that's given to the people. And they're trying to do it again. Stay in your house, scroll TikTok, and we'll just control what you know. Which is the reason that Elon taking over Twitter was a vital chess move in this war. He rebranded it to X. Did I come back to the right universe? Jesus Christ, take a month and a half off work and it's like waking up from a coma. Anyways, something's off about these fires in Maui, my friend. And I wanted to talk about that for a second. From the fire itself, to Biden's response, something's just weird. I'm gonna try to be careful here in my rambling and theorizing because I want to be considerate to all the people who lost their lives and the others that are missing and the grieving families. My heart goes out to all of them, but something about the fire just seemed off from the very beginning. So the beginning is where I'm gonna start. So surely we all know what happened by now. A fire broke out in Maui and they're still trying to determine the cause of the fire. Like they don't know. Some people are saying it's an electrical fire that was spread rapidly by the dry heat. Others are saying Oprah shot a space laser into Maui and started the fires herself, which is totally something Oprah would do, but I think that might be a little far-fetched. At this point, we don't know what caused the fires, but where my suspicion originated about this whole event was that on top of the devastation and the loss of life that people endured, the survivors of the disaster would go on to be evicted almost immediately. Someone please debunk me. You can actually evict the Maui wildfire survivors? Like, tell me you're joking. Give up Maui. Do not let them take your land. I just saw this morning, just now on TikTok, they are giving eviction notices to people whose houses didn't burn down. No fucking way. Like, I wasn't in the conspiracy camp where, like, space lasers caused the Hawaiian wildfires on purpose, but I sure as shit knew BlackRock, Vanguard, and other bankers weren't gonna give up a fire sale. So, like, before I freak out and, like, start sharpening the guillotines, like, maybe this is just a one off, right? This Lahaina shit is insane. I have a friend who lost his home. He lost everything. But this isn't for him. This is somebody else by him. They didn't lose their home, but they're about to because the mayor is evicting the entire fucking building. 
some of the only people that still had homes and they're evicting them they have 45 days pause to read I, I wish i didn't fucking pause to read you mean to tell me that if the sus wildfire didn't make me homeless the government is now going to even though i had a home to go back to they would receive a note on their door claiming that they have until september 31st to find a new place to live essentially and that's only the beginning of the train wreck that is the government's response biden gave the survivors a measly 700 dollars in compensation for the damages which is insulting chump change that's barely half of one month's rent let alone a deposit they can't do shit with 700 dollars you may as well have just not given them anything it adds insult to injury when the biden administration is handing over billions of our taxpayer dollars to ukraine to protect their borders against russia while keeping our borders wide open we got him sending billions to the same country him and hunter did their dealings in which is a whole separate video and i'm gonna end up going off on a tangent if i talk any more about that so while hawaiians are watching their tax dollars going to a country that's not america the people of maui are getting chump change in response to a disaster so who does it look like biden cares about more the country where all his business dealings happened or the american county of maui of course it's maui he even went to maui personally to address how much he cares 15 years ago i was in washington doing meet the press it was a sunny sunday and lightning struck at home on a little lake that's outside of our home, not a lake, a big pond, and hit a wire and came up underneath our home into the heating ducts, the air conditioning duct. To make a long story short, I almost lost my wife, my 67 Corvette, <laughs> and my cat. Yeah, I'm pretty relatable, Jack. I remember fires. I had a fire too, almost lost my wife, more importantly, my Corvette and my cat Jack. So vote for me in 2024, Jack, or you ain't Black Jack. And if you ain't Jack Black, you ain't beating me at Black Jack Jack. Now I'm gonna go take a nap. Food and shelter by someone they may have never met before. This is real footage. He went to address the fires in Maui and he fell asleep, my dude. But remember how he responded to the damn Nashville shooting? Bro? Dude asked for ice cream, bruv. Like, every bit of the government response to this tragedy is weird. It's weird. So either the elites need Maui for some reason, or Joe Biden is just that incompetent and the Democrats don't give two shits about any of you. Had any money come in? I haven't had anybody call me back. I didn't have anything. I, I have no idea. I lost my house. I lost my car. I lost my animals. I mean, come on, man. We're not getting anything till today. I still didn't get my meds. I cannot get my meds yet. My med, my medicine, was all burnt in my house. My rent money was all burnt in my house. I have no money anymore. I think Joe Biden should take his $700 and get back on the f***ing plane and go home. That's what I think. Like, what if it was your county that was on fire? Thousands of people in your city lost life and hundreds missing and your entire life uprooted and Biden shows up, hands you $700 and then takes a nap among the debris. Like, how insulting can you be to a community, bro? Like, get this motherfucker out of here, bro. Get Trump back in that bitch. I'm getting sick of this shit. Anyways, that's my suspicion. They need Maui. Otherwise, they wouldn't be evicting survivors. Like, it makes no sense. If you could think of a reason why they would evict survivors after a tragedy and not provide arrangements, let me know. Like, maybe they're afraid of another electrical fire, so they're trying to evacuate people just in case. Like, who knows? I'm trying to see both sides so I don't run off with my conspiracy brain. It, it's just very strange. But anyways, it's good to be back to work and making videos. I I'll get my groove back and all that. I kind of ran off on a lot of tangents in this one. <laughs> but, by the way, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is amazing. Like, you don't have to play the other games to understand the story. Like, my wife has never picked up a Zelda game, and she loved the experience. And I loved how invested she was in the story like it made me feel good so thank you guys for your patience while i took a break to recharge i'm sure you can imagine how exhausting some of this can be next time i'll have pre-recorded videos ready to drop in advance so when i go on vacation you won't even know but anyways that's it for this one let me know what you think about the government's response to maui in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe for more commentary videos like this one and you can sign up for my patreon if you want to support the channel and you can go to my music channel to check out some tunes that i make in between projects and i'll see you in the next yeah. I've been riding round town, blowing loud with the window down. Oh shit! New phone, who this? I'm just steady winning. You can't even hurt my feelings, homie. Oh shit! New phone, who this? You can't ever slow me. Half of y'all don't even know me, homie. Oh shit! New phone, who 
this? Don't you dare try to call me, cause, cause I'm introverted, homie, better text me that shit. New phone, who this?